Hey Plannerholics, and welcome to my channel. My name is Esther, and besides being a planner enthusiast, I am also a lover of art and journaling. Today I'm going to share a quick flip through inside my memory book from the month of January. For those of you who are new around here, this is a very special notebook that I created with some pre-designed pages to make documenting about your life easy, quick, and fun. I'll be leaving a link in the description box below to a past video I filmed where I go over the design of each page in more detail. If you're interested in starting your own memory book, be sure to visit my website plannerholics.com for all the information. Now let's get started. For my monthly cover, I decided to keep things very simple and I used some printable stickers from the January Listers Got a List freebie, some washi tape, a magazine cutout, and these really fun corkboard stickers to mark the month. The first page, as you may already know, is the Goals and Accomplishments page. And this month I used some scrapbook paper to give the page a bit of a pattern design. It was very easy to make because the size of the circle is about the size of a washi tape roll. So all I did was trace the washi onto the scrapbook paper, cut it out, and glue it on. For the background, I just used some orange watercolor to give it a nice and bright effect. For my monthly calendar, I drew little doodles of my daily highlights and colored them in with some colored pencils. Since the calendar is undated, I used the clear stickers that are included inside the memory book. As you can see, you have enough numbers for up to six months and the entire year of monthly names so you can start or finish when you like. For the listed page, I only decorated with some washi on the borders and used some sticky page flags to write down a list of encouraging actions to do less and more of in 2016, like less soda, more tea, less junk food, more salads, and so on. The shop till you drop page obviously includes some of my highlighted purchases of the month. And to decorate the page, I used some more stickers from the January Listers Got a List freebie and colored pencils for the background. The gratitude page, I simply wrote out the things I was grateful for and didn't even decorate since the page is pretty as is. This is one of the reasons I decided to create templates inside the memory book, not just as a guide, but also if you're not sure how to decorate or you just don't have the time, but you still want to journal, this way you can. In the next page, I recorded some quotes and tried to mix different handwriting styles. I also used this beautiful night skyline washi tape. This is one of my favorites and it is still available at my shop. Be sure to check it out at plannerholics.com if you are interested. It really creates an elegant city vibe on the page. For the next page, I printed this picture from David Bowie since uh, he did pass away in January and then I wrote down a playlist of some of my favorite songs and just put some washi tape. For the bookshelf on the right, I printed the cover of the different books I read that month, wrote short reviews, and put some stickers to rate what I thought of the books. Unfortunately, in January, it was also the death of Alan Rickman, so I dedicated my movie page to him and my favorite character that he played, which is Professor Snape from Harry Potter. I also incorporated a picture of a movie I saw, I put a sticker on it to rate it, a reality show that I was watching, and a rerun from TV. The next page is all about a few new Instagram accounts that I decided to start following in January, which gave me lots of journaling ideas and inspiration. I cut out a significant photo from each account and used scrapbook paper to decorate the background with the same system I used earlier with the washi roll tracing. 
Next, I documented some delicious foods that I ate. And since the template is already very convenient and structured, all I had to do was simply write out my experience, paste some pictures and stickers, and colored the border in yellow. For my Happy Places page, I visited a humongous Primark store in downtown Madrid, so I made sure to document that, as well as some of my favorite spots in the city center, using a journal card for more room. The last set of templates involve my best moments of the month. On the left, I journaled about a shopping date I had with my cousin. I glued the subway ticket I used that day, as well as the contact card from a home goods store that I kept for my gift exchanges. Speaking of, it was Three Kings Day in January, so I found this really awesome photo in a magazine and decided to paste that to journal about our family events. I also put this gift tag from another gift that we received and wrote about some outings that I experienced in January. We now turn into the extra note pages that each month contains in the memory book. For my first one, I decided to list out some positive affirmations to remember for the new year. On the right, I glued a relaxing landscape image from a magazine and used washi tape to stick a brochure from a clinic I visited for some much needed back massages. <laughs> In the next page, um, we were gifted a Bombay gin bottle, which I just so happened to find the ad on a magazine. So I searched for the ultimate gin and tonic recipe. There wasn't much to it actually, but I wrote it in anyway. Over on the next page, I did some journaling about my award of the year, which is Create, and how I was going to apply it this year. The next set of pages just talk about my feelings towards Happy Mail since I received this amazing postcard all the way from Seoul, Korea from an old friend. I glued digital scrapbook paper for the page background and journaled on top of some Target sticky notes that went really well with the spread. Of course, what would an art journal be without a little bit of art? I drew this lovely Japanese picture that I saw online and I decided to practice my watercolor skills to color it in and I'm quite proud of how it turned out. I used black marker to outline each shape and really make the image pop out. I drew this picture because me and my boyfriend have been wanting to visit the country for a while and I thought I would write out the cities and places to see if we ever save up the money and decide to go for it. And last but not least, for the last page, I created a photo collage with pictures of our pet rabbit and all her cute and funny poses. I spread them out with some flower and word stickers as well as these golden letters to spell out her name. So there you have it, another completed month and packed full of memories. I love this process of journaling my life's little moments and likes through this memory book. Again, be sure to check out my website to get your very own and to start falling in love with your memories. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!